what is happening guys it's your boy Kutu Trip, and you are welcome to yet another episode of Thread Special now I always say we call it the Thread Special because we have you know special guests in the house but today's Thread Special is a special one because you know we are actually in the presence right now the Holy Spirit has filled the studios has filled the room because we have you know um, I don't know what to, where to place him to call him a minister or you know to, to 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 talk about his his voice or his vocals but we have the man in the house luigi mclean i want a drum roll like drum roll you know we should we should give you a drum roll right now but you're welcome to our Thank studios you so much mr luigi mclean it's, it's a pleasure to have you in the house you know like i said since you came <laughs> talking about the holy spirit filling it's actually good to be yeah it's good yeah to be. yeah it's we're, good to we're, see you we're glad to have you as well now before we get into the conversation right i, I want us to clear something on the pronunciation of your name <laughs> hey, I, I hope i got it right right i think it's you did. luigi it is not luigi it's Luigi. You Luigi. Right. I mean, okay. you're that Abi, so oh. it should be hard for you. <laughs> He's like, he's <laughs> so anyway, Luigi. Luigi, Luigi McLean. McLean. Yes. Yeah, it's great Thank to have you. you in the house. Thank uh, you. Would, would you tell us the, the origins of your name? Uh, so it, it's an Italian name. All right. Uh, it basically means wise warrior or wise fighter. Wise. So it's actually Luis in Italian. Okay. So Luigi. Luis. Okay. Yes. Wise yeah. warrior. Yeah, and you are worrying for God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway, yes, yes. so um, we're going to get right into the conversation, right? And then we are going to climax this conversation with your latest album, you know, your latest release, which is A, yes. a Thousand Tongues, Tongues, right? But before we get into that, while I was looking you up, I found out that you come from a music family. Yes, I do. Yeah. I was, I've been waiting to ask you, <laughs> but you come from a music family and you have your beliefs on what uh, music should be used for, especially as a tool. But I'm, first, I want to find out from you, have you always known, irrespective of the fact that you come from a music family, have you always known that this is the path that you were going to, Not to at take? All. Not at all. I mean, uh, coming from a music family, like you mentioned, I've always enjoyed music. It's something that has come easily to me. Like I find myself singing when maybe, I mean, as a young boy, washing the dishes or taking your bath or sitting somewhere and you're you are alone, I just find myself singing. So it's always been a part of me. But I'll say when the, the part when I noticed this is like uh, the, a calling yeah. was somewhere in, in senior high school. I went to Infant Spindler School. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> senior high school, I had a few friends, you know, uh, when I was in Form 1, uh, the, the, my room, one of my roommates happened to be in Form 3, a senior who was also the MD of the choral group in school back then. So yeah. I think one time I was sweeping and he heard me sing. Yeah. And he was like, ah, you have this voice and you are not. I'm like, oh, I, I, I didn't know I was supposed to join any yeah. choir. So he thought, you know how seniors would be like, hey, come and join the choir. So I had to follow him. So the next rehearsal I was there. But I, it wasn't, I didn't see it as something I should do. So I, 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 I used to run away from rehearsal a lot, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But I think when I was in Form 3, I, I found out after one of the rehearsals, a few friends of mine <clears throat> were singing so yeah. it was actually something that they used to do back then after every rehearsal they stayed behind yeah. and then they sing and i heard them sing like their own songs yeah. and they sounded so cool and i was like ah, if my age mates can do this i believe i can also yeah. do this i mean little did i know that was when god was calling me to yeah. get into this so i joined them and we started singing composing our own songs and the rest is history yeah I, you know i think you have a very um a great voice and i think you have so a much. very um an amazing personality i think you are very you, oh, you come off you. as very laid back and then very <laughs> cool you know so it, it leads me to my question uh finding out that you were you know you were called to do the lord's work to do god's work to uh, become a minister of the gospel did you think that it was gospel music that you were going to do or did you have you know a knack for other genres of music as well I, 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 for, then when i met my friends i just knew that this yeah. is what i was supposed it was to gospel do. music this is what i was supposed right. to do yes yeah so it has never been there has never been a doubt you know not at all after then never been i mean I, there are moments when you <clears throat> a few down moments here and there but through it all like i mean i i, I just look back at when i got that 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 belief in me that this is what god wants me to do as human as we are we have down moments but yeah. i feel like that moment is, is is so strong that when i look back to it i can't help but 
pick myself up yeah. and then move on. Would you say that it also stems from having a strong, you know, foundation, a Christian foundation, like growing up? Is, I mean, did I, you think, have, I did think you have that. I think that has helped. Okay. I think that has helped. I, if you ask me, I believe everybody has a purpose when you come into this world. So, but oh, every other thing is a bonus. So I believe that being being from a Christian background in my family has been like a, a strong bonus for me because yeah. it's helped me having to maneuver my way around things, you know, hearing the voice of God, knowing that this is what I'm supposed to do. I feel like being from a Christian background has helped to, to, to add that to it. Okay, that's, that's great. Um, I don't know, but I, I think there is um, a stereotype, you know, with, the, with choirs, you know, especially oh, really? as a guy. Because it's you, it's we, I'm, I'm used to women being in a choir in as much as oh. men might be in a choir. But did you no, ever have much. any uh, problems with that, just fitting into that stereotype as a guy in the choir? Not at all. Of the sort. Not at all. Not at okay. all. I mean, <laughs> if it, in boys school, it's only boys school. Yeah. But when, when I, when I came home, um, I joined the, the church choir. Yeah. And I think it wasn't that much wasn't, of a problem okay. because I mean it's it's the same setting, that like, setting with the same people with the same mindset. Right. So I think it's not too hard to have both male and female join. So I've never, I don't think I've ever had that issue. Awesome. Now you mentioned uh, coming out of school and joining the choir. I'm aware that you're a part of the Love Gift. Yes, yes, you that's know, choir, Joe Metals. Yes, you know, and you were a tenor, backup, vocalist, singer, yes. singer right? Now, moving away from being a backup vocalist to actually being in the lead, and you're, you know, the Holy Spirit has <laughs> totally engulfed you now being in the lead. How does that feel? I mean, you've done your, you've paid your dues, you know, being in the background, but now you're at the forefront, you know, taking the lead in and, and, and stuff. How does that feel? And then what has the transition been like? It's been you? an amazing learning process, I would, I would say. I mean, I mean, every time I have this question, it's been such an amazing, you know, yeah. because usually when you are uh, at the back, yeah. there are things in you, you know, uh, there are things in you that you, you don't know you have. But when you come to the forefront and you are put on the spot, those things come out. And I've, I've had to experience new sides to the yeah. gifting I have as singing that I didn't know I had. So I'm, I'm really grateful for having the opportunity to come to the forefront, which which I have I have to say a big thank you to my boss, Joe Mental, yeah. uh, who assigned me onto his record label as well. And they've given me this opportunity to do my own thing. And it's it's been an awesome experience. I'm enjoying the journey. Yeah. I'm enjoying the journey. Yeah, but uh, how, how did you, you know, come about meeting Joe Metal, uh, joining the the choir, the band and, and all of that? How did it happen? So I was you? back in Kumasi. I schooled in um, tech. tech, yes. Right. So um, I, I was in Harvest Chapel back in Tech and okay. I used to sing there and my MD, Kumsin, I think he, back then Joe was coming out of uh, Soul Winners, so I think he used to frequent the campuses yeah. and he came to Tech and then my MD called me, oh, Joe is, Joe is in it's town, around, yeah. he has an event so let's meet, rehearse and go back in. And we did it a few times and I think it, it, we became like a family. Mm -hmm. So whenever we, we, we go on vacation and he has any events, he calls out and then we go and back him. So I met him on campus and I think we just started singing together even when we're on vacation coming to Accra. So that's when it started. Okay. That's, that's how I start. That's, that's how I made your mentor. That's interesting. And how? What has it been like? You know, working with him. What is the relationship like? How, would, really, you, how would you? How would you say it has impacted? You know, affected you in your oh, personal it's, ministry? It's, it's impacted me so much because <laughs> I remember the first time I ever saw him. It was in that. <laughs> If he watches this thing, he can be the Walabolo video, you know, where he's the skinny neck. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, when I look at the transition from there to mm -hmm. now, I mean, no one has to tell you that I, there's, there's definitely a greater hand backing yeah. his journey. And that's one thing I've learned that he puts God first. Yeah. And, and another thing I learned from him as well is the importance of service. And I think it's, 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 have, it's had that great effect on me as well. That great event that put God first and every other every other thing will fall in place. Yeah. You talked about you just mentioned it's like you're leading me on to some of the <laughs> questions that I wanted I I you know initially wanted to ask. Now you talk about service, right? And then I think that like I mentioned earlier, being in the background, observing, yeah, learning, forefront, yeah. you know, paying your dues, now coming to the forefront and then learning from, you know, some of the best like Joe Metal, right? responsibility now you have that responsibility because you are in the lead mm -hmm. how would you say that 
the responsibility of you know being leading people in the ministry and then uh, um, you yourself how is it what has changed or how, what have you learned from having that responsibility and how has it impacted your personal ministry as well mm, i think for me the one thing that i pick from this is when you are at the forefront it's like everyone looks at you yeah. and for the work that we do we tell of an entity we tell of someone that yeah. people might know or not know so whatever you do you have to make sure that you are reflecting that person you are talking about yeah. so because you can't say one thing and, and the then other. your actions will show differently and that's one thing i've learned from not just him but a lot of the major people that have followed for some time in this space that you can't say one thing and and, and, and your life will showcase another thing yeah. so that's one thing i've learned all right that's awesome that's awesome so you're assigned to um reverb yes studios. reverb studios yes yeah um how how long has that been uh, that has been for since 2018. wow Okay. And, yeah, and this is your the, the project that you just dropped is your first it's that's your maiden, my first album it's your maiden album, maiden album. okay um, I want to find out something else from you um, you have been regarded as one of the new faces you know the powerful voices when it comes to the gospel fraternity or the gospel terrain you know one of the new like the the, the new faces to look out for you know and I'm sure that definitely does come with a uh, some, I don't want to call it a burden. But yeah, it definitely <laughs> does it, come with, it. with the pressure. How are you taking that on? You know, how are you taking on that pressure? Uh, are you are you aware? First of all, are you aware that you know that is you know the consensus that well, people I mean, feel I get, like I get, I mean, you are. You get people saying yes. a few things here yes. and there. So yes, yes, yes I've, I've heard that no, a few so, times. So how are you taking on that uh, pressure? One at a time, one day at a time. For me, if you ask me, I mean, for most of the people who know me. You take things one day at a time, one day at a time, and okay. and I I believe I believe that um, when you better yourself, it shows in the things you do. So I still have a lot of things to learn. So I take every opportunity that it comes my way. I learn from it as much as I can, and then I produce the results that I can pro produce. So one day at a time. I'm enjoying the journey, like I mentioned earlier. Right. I'm enjoying every bit of it. Right. That's interesting. Uh, before we move away from Joe Metal, I I want to inquire. Uh, there's rumors, or I have heard personally, oh, that <laughs> you wrote the song Bononi. That's like hey. one of the biggest songs. <laughs> so I heard. <laughs> that you wrote the song how true is let that? this rumor end here how true was actually, that? everything was actually joe metal yeah so he wrote that song and just asked me so uh, it was the it was on the god of miracles album so i remember very well two other rehearsals yeah. i was actually the only one leading the song yeah he, he does both the first and the second verse and i think two weeks two weeks or a week prior to the recording after one of the rehearsals he just comes to me and told me that oh, um i wanted to do this song Right. So he wrote everything. I didn't write anything. It was just my voice that I added to it. But he okay. wrote everything. All right. So we are clearing that rumor, guys. Um, he, Joe Metal wrote everything. 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 Right. And then you just contributed yes. to to the song. song my okay. Part. That's amazing. You've had a wonderful track record up to you know to this point, and I'm I'm definitely certain of the fact that there's more in store. You have more for us. You know, one is uh, being uh, nominated at the 2019 Vodafone. Uh, music cool. awards you know um, you've been on set certain platforms as well you've worked with uh, let me ask you besides the minister joe metal which other artists have you worked with uh, uh, within the within the term actually back the diana hamilton for okay. some time yes i've, I've backed her for, yeah, for some time and mm, i think only her only her yes but i mean we've had there are instances where you go for an event and you would have to help yeah. back at that. That's yes. a lot. I can't really recall the, the yeah. recall the names, but I've had a few a few BV jobs here and there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, in light of that, right? Do you have plans or do you have any interest in working with other ministers, other people? You mean like a collaboration? Yeah, a collaboration. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Did, did we have some of that on your your album? Yes, just two collaborations. Two collaborations. None, none of the, okay. the, the older. It's just my, okay. I like to say, my, my year group members. Yeah. <laughs> Kofi, Ozu Pepra, and yes. uh, CC Beidou. Okay. But I'm looking, I'm looking forward to doing some, something with some of the, the, the people who have gone ahead of us. Yeah, like the Diana Hanno things, the Pastor Isaiah's and 
looking at some other international collaborations as well. So the lady minister Diana Hamilton, you mentioned backing her. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Are you not interested in you know? Oh, I just the mentioned way. the name. We didn't hear. Yeah. <laughs> I, I heard CC. I didn't. No, no, I said I, I, I did with them, but when I was saying I'm looking forward okay. to other. Look for, okay. Yes, collaborations right. with the right. Diana right. Hamilton's and the yes. Pastor right. Isaiah's and, the, okay. and some right. international collaborations. Yes, I was going to ask about that. <laughs> but still on collaborations, right? We noticed that uh, some of the time there are crossovers. Like we have gospel musicians collaborating with secular musicians, right? Sure. And sometimes vice versa. Sure. Uh, is that something that you would consider if it were to come your way or are you, do you have your own reservations when it comes to, mm, to I wouldn't that? say reservations. I mean, when, if you ask me, if the time comes and the one who has called me said, this is what you have to do, why not? Yeah. Why not? Definitely. So that's it for me. Okay. All right. So um, I'm going to head straight into your album, you know, um, a thousand tongues which you released on the 9th of, of april, april. Yes. and then you had a concert on the 15th on the 14th, on the 14th yes. of april now first and foremost what was the inspiration like what was it for you what was it like for you working on that the project and what was the intent behind it what were you trying to communicate to obviously his ministry but what were you trying to communicate to you know your audience and your your listeners i mean i think the the focal point of the album is on Thanksgiving. Yeah. But aside that, I mean, you have a few other yeah. things that it highlights. And for the most part of it, I think it talks about my journey in, yeah. in the whole music and, and ministry. You know, I started, I remember very well that after Bononi, I mean, everybody was like, when I was, I was, I was jumping on Bononi, if you had asked me this, how big the song would be, I didn't have any idea. idea. Because it, like, as I mentioned, it was like two weeks or a week to the, the recording yeah. that yeah. my boss told me that oh, I would want you to do this song with me. So mm -hmm. here I was just rehearsing, making sure, standing behind the mirror, making sure I sing it well. Be. Because <laughs> on that night, the, there were a lot of great artists coming. Yeah. I was like, I'm not going to be the one who's going to yeah. mess up any of the, the yeah. reps that night. So, And the song comes out and it, be, it became a huge thing and you go everywhere. Someone sees you, oh, that's the guy who did the song with Joe Metal, you know. So then after that, there was that expectation that what next, yeah. what next. And it, it, it brought some kind of pressure because I remember very well when I was signed onto the label, we tried, we wrote some songs, we tried recording. You record some of the songs and when it comes yeah. out, when you listen yourself, I'm like, no, 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 this is not sound. This is not it. So I mean, through, through all of that, I mean, I just saw God's hand because I mean, as human as we are, gets to a point, you become discouraged that, oh, I mean, I, I, want to, I want to share this game, but I, I'm trying everything, yeah. it's not working. But then, then, then maybe you hear a word from someone or you, you hear a melody, you pick it up and build on it and then you get a song. And that's how I released my first few singles. Yeah. And then up until on the, the last year, this recording was actually done last year yeah. in March. I did the recording and it was released this year. So, I mean, I just see God's hand through it all and yeah. he's even faithful. Yeah. So that's the, 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 the message of, of the album. Thanksgiving and my journey. Yeah, okay. You mentioned your journey again. It's, like I said, I mean, you know, when the Holy Spirit is with you, definitely it's, it, it takes, you know, every step, Preach. Preach. you know, yeah, every step <laughs> of the way, you know. And it, I, I think it's the same with you guiding me right now with regards to you know, some of the things that I want to inquire from, oh, from you. Yeah, so you talk about your journey, right? You've talked about discouragement. Have there been any points in your career? Obviously, it hasn't been a smooth ride, but you'd say you're backed by, like I said again, oh, yeah. <laughs> the Holy Spirit. So yeah, have there been any moments, you know, discouraging moments that have made you, you know, want to reconsider things or want to um, give up, so to speak? You know, mm, not really. I would say one of the most challenging times for me was. You know, before I, I moved into full time, I used to work in the office. I, I used to have a, an eight to five. Said, yeah. And I think it got to a point, the, the challenging time for me was when to decide to move fully into what I've been called to yeah. do or to do the side and side. Because I noticed that when, whenever I woke up in the morning, I would take, I would prepare for, for work. Yeah. But it was so difficult to go. At, at a point, it was so, so difficult to go to work. And the the... The challenge for me then was, hey, I don't do something, I'm, I'm getting into this new thing. Will I be able to take care of myself and my family in the future? Yeah. And it was a big deal for me and I was so confused. But like I mentioned, God has a way of like sending in yeah. 
like he sends his voice or he sends you something that will lead you yeah, yeah a direction at that point when you need it and at that point for me it was my dad and to think that will come from my dad my dad is not that kind of person he's the whole like the whole hey you are you are all grown now you're a man go work yes provide for your family yeah. so for my dad to be the one telling me that this is what i want so he, he told me he went to work one time he was working while listening to songs on youtube yeah. and then one of my 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 songs came up and when he heard it, he, he said he just heard the voice telling me this is what your son is supposed to do yeah. so i was so confused i didn't know what to do and he came home he called me and whenever you know when that strict dad calls you <laughs> you yeah. are you're expecting something yeah. maybe a blasting something, or yeah. something yeah. and then he calls me he tells me to sit down and he goes like uh, he feels like i should go into the ministry but he's just calling me to tell me you support me whatever i had to do you know so at that point I, the challenging time was to decide whether to go full time or to yeah. stick half and half that was it for me but through all of that god led me he brought that 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 encouragement i needed in my dad and here i am today so that was the chance so i have not gotten to that point where maybe i want to give up yet i hope yeah. i don't get there yeah, yeah, yeah. but this was the trying time for so me. You, you quit your job Oh yes, 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 yes. And I had you to. focus on the ministry full time. I had to. Yes. Yeah, I'm sure you were, you know, remembering uh, the Bible verse about not being able to serve two masters. You need to. Yeah, I didn't even yeah. remember, but it's like you are preaching a sermon right now. I mean, we're in, the, we're, we're, <laughs> <laughs> we're in the spirit, so you know, you so know, so true. Um, yeah, that's definitely something that a decision that I'm sure that you do not regret. And not speaking so of, you know, you have held your your first or your maiden uh, concert, yes, right? The yes, A Thousand yes, Tongues. Yes. What was that like? What was the experience? And then, I mean, being able to put that together, how did you feel after, you know, cause I'm sure the turnout was massive. I mean, I, mean, I, I see I, your videos I, on I, YouTube, I, I, right? And I, I it see- It was overwhelming, yeah. I tell you. Because I mean, uh, prior to that, I've only done virtual stuff. Yeah. My Most of my worship gatherings have been virtual. Yeah. So this was like the album release concept stroke live first live concept that Luigi has ever done. And then I step out and I turn my back and the whole room people I'm like, Ooh. so the 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 turnout was amazing and the support. I mean it just goes to say that, you know, like there are people supporting, there are people pushing and it makes me feel so blessed and so loved and I just want to say a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting from day one till now. God bless you so much. Yeah. It's great. I, it's, I mean, I'm just, I'm just happy, you know, with uh, speaking to you, you know, you recounting your experience, you know, uh, the decision making process. I know that it can be very, very tough, you know, yeah. decide, especially yeah. with where we, you know, our, our part of the yeah. world and yeah. everything, you know. But I mean, once God gives you or directs you to do something and you follow it, I feel like He provides. He will be there for yeah, you. True. You know, He will be there true. for you. So that is uh, great. Now we're talking about ten uh, turnouts. You said the concerts. You know, people showed up. The support you know, was yeah, the support was amazing. Nice. Now. I think somewhere last year uh, we had a conversation with King Skid. I don't know if you know King Skid. Yeah, of yes, obviously. <laughs> yes. So he was here, and then he King talked King. about um, you know the reception to events, especially within the gospel fraternity, space. the space, and as compared to when it's a secular. What I want to know your take on that. I mean, since we're talking about turnouts, I want to know your take on that as compared to previously do you think that there has been a positive change you know with regards to how people accept or receive um stuff from the gospel fraternity and then attendance and stuff do you think there's been been a a massive change if you ask me i mean compared to when we were young i don't think there, there were that many gospel events but i think when i mean with the with the coming of the the Joe Metals, the yeah. Diana Hamilton, the Akesi, the, the so, Celeste yeah. Doncos. Yeah. I mean, I think they've, they've brought a lot of, uh, what's the word? There's change. There's a change. Yeah. There's a change, for lack of a better word. There's yeah. a lot of change that we can see. There's a lot more support yeah. for gospel events now yeah. because i mean people are sitting. I, I saw what nasi did recently quite recently a lot of events are so i think yeah. there's a there's a change there's a change yeah. and it's getting better and better yeah. it's getting better with okay. time if you ask me. okay great so moving forward right is there should we i mean uh, a thousand tongues is still out you know and it's doing well 
but should we expect anything any uh, thing from you in regards to projects or concerts you know anything in the coming days oh yes 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 um, we uh, this this worship gathering we hold um, quarterly it's called the gather round sessions okay. so that's the next thing we're looking at looking for i'll probably throw an invite to you yeah i was to about to say you, you should you should invite us one of these days oh, i'll do that i'll so do that, that when, when, when the time time is yeah. up i'll definitely let okay. you okay all right awesome anyway it's been interesting having a conversation thank you with so you. much i'm glad that you came through and thank i've learned so everything much. that i have learned today you know I, I'm, I'm actually feeling like i'm in a spirit <laughs> to be honest right True. but yeah but uh before we go is there anything that you want to share anything that you want to say to your audience to your fans to your yet to be fans like anything at all i mean i don't say a big thank you i'm so so grateful how far i've come it's only because of the support, the prayers, the help, the push that all of you give. And I'd like to say a big thank you and God bless you so much. God loves you as well. Stay blessed. Yes, thank you. Thank you thank so you much. Too, too. You heard it from the man himself. God loves you. Stay blessed. Uh, Mr. Luigi <laughs> McLean. And we'll be coming your way with you know anything he does from this point thank forward. You so, so keep much. your eyes peeled and we'll keep you updated as well. Like I said, this edition or this episode of thread special is a very very special one and i'm glad that he came through but we'll catch you some other time keep it locked stay blessed